Yeah, and speaking of that bench, I mean, there's you know you got five guys that get introduced with all the lights and bells and whistles in pre games as a starter. Um, you got you got some options down that bench that you call into the game that are not starters that gives you the depth that people are counting on to to carry you into the big dance. Give me one or two guys that you really love coming off that bench roll when you turn to start making substitutions. Well, before we get there, I'm glad you brought that up because it's a pet peeve of mine. I don't like the starting lineups. I think, you know, there's many things that we do. We just came out of the Christmas break, and I'm sure there's traditions at the Dunaway House that you do that you don't really understand why you do them. Right. I, I don't know why we do the starting lineup. I, I've said this before. In in basketball, you got to play offense, defense, and special teams all within about a seven-second realm, and it's in a continuous loop. You've got to it, – it's the most – you have to be the most unselfish because – Everybody on my team was the leading scorer from wherever they came from at one phase or another. I've never heard a third baseman in baseball, for instance, say, why don't I ever get to bat? Or why don't they hit me the ball? I've never heard an offensive lineman in football says, man, I was open. You know, I don't know why that quarterback won't throw me the ball. Because there's, there's role definition. Everybody understands. But everybody in basketball wants the ball and they want to shoot it, and that's how they're identified. I say all that to say, it is. It needs to be the most selfless sport, and yet here we are honoring or celebrating five guys who may be out of the game in two minutes. <laughs> they may not close the game, but we're doing this celebratory thing. I think it's nonsense. I think we should do away with it. Okay. Uh, let's do it. Do, well, do away I, with it. Let's, you, uh, let's, let's, start, let's start a trend at UAB not introducing the starting five. Or what if you introduced I, we, your five we highest? Did, hey, listen, listen. We did it at Ole Miss one year. It didn't work out great for me because my guys pouted a little bit, yeah. but we did it. We, you know, you can control it as the home venue. You don't have to do it, and it really messed up the other team. They, you, they were like, "What's going on?" Hey, do you do you want to uh, you want to do something that will make national headlines? One game. This is no joke. One game through the five highest GPAs. I mean, could you imagine oh, like a GPA awesome. of three point eight four and that my, would be awesome. And microbiology. Sued, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> probably get sued giving out their information. Uh, that's true. That's a good point. I, I, <laughs> But, but, uh, or, or do I, this: I, five I guys who didn't yep. piss me off at practice yesterday. Here are the five guys that didn't <laughs> piss me off at practice. Five, five guys that didn't piss him off. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're, you're shooting way too high. I, 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 I just think it's ridiculous. I think there's other ways that we could start the game. I may put some thought into that now that we've sat here and talked about it. But bench play for us is going to be huge. Uh, you know, I'm, as we get into league play, you know, your, your rotation tightens somewhat. But I think the biggest strength of our team has been our front court depth. A lot is made of Jelly, obviously, leading the nation in scoring. Eric Gaines comes in here with, with much ado. But our front court, you know, the addition of the Brewer boys, Ty and L.A. Brewer, the addition of J.V. on Davis, I think it's really fortified us up front. As you've noticed, as we've gotten a little deeper into the schedule, I'm starting to play my lone freshman, Efren Butta Johnson, out of Grissom High School in Huntsville a lot more because he gives us some size in our backcourt, and he also – gives us another primary ball handler. So we're going to need all our guys, man. Uh, ultimately, we, we play eight, nine, ten dudes, and we need them all hitting on all cylinders in order for this team to reach its potential. 